what is going on everybody so today in this video i'm going to be going over a couple fragrances one titled midsummer delight and the other one titled cosmic hiatus both of these fragrances are from the fragrance house of empress essence by jess she's based out of queens new york and this is a vegan luxury fragrance oil house i reached out to her she took one look at my pathetic face and was just like i've had enough send him a product upon checking the mailbox i found this purple packaging in our purple parcel in my mailbox so that was pretty cool when i open this up out falls these two vegan non-laters when she tells me the very first formulation of the non-laters was actually like a vegan formulation it wasn't meant or purpose to be vegan i don't think but it just so happens that it was and it was acceptable to be you know to be used by to be eaten by vegans and she knew that I was a vegan and sent these two to me. So I was super, I was super glad about that. That was so cool. And just that extra thought that went into it. You know what I mean? And uh, she knew that my, me and my wife were vegan and sent us these. So thank you again, once again, Jess. That was, that was super nice, lovely gesture. And I definitely, I definitely gonna be killing these. Opening the package here, you are met with a black box with a purple style label. Your fragrances on the inside here with some rose petals as well to accompany them. And you got like the ingredients on the side here of, of your fragrances. This is the Men and Duo Imperial Collection. Very nice packaging, very nice details here. I'm gonna take that off and you are met with your two fragrances. This one is titled Midsummer Delight. And this one is titled Midsummer Delight. But both one of these is different from the other. Now let's take a sniff here. The Midsummer Delight has notes of, Midsummer Delight fragrance oil has notes of Kanaga flower, pina colada, and vanilla. So upon smelling this, okay, this one's more so herbaceous, slightly medicinal, a little more clean, fresh. And then the second oil here, this is it. This is that pineapple, that sort of coconutty vibe, that vanilla, very fruity, juicy. This is that one. So that's Midsummer Delight. And this one is the Cosmic Hiatus. I think there was just a misprint on the label. No big deal. But let's get into this bottle though. Look at that. Look at how clean that is. Such a beautiful style to this bottle. Beautiful look. Got the gold with the red stones all over. Very nice gold and glass finish. On the bottom here is like a red velvet material on the bottom. Just very luxury looking. Like when looking at this, you it definitely has that look and that feel and presentation of luxury. I'm gonna take some of this, put this on. Have the glass applicator here. Got the glass applicator here. Really nice. These are so nice to have. So on skin, I get like this really sticky sweet um bright slightly warm coconut tropical fruity very rounded well-rounded type of scent but it's very much fruity tropical juicy type of scent and it's really nice these scents i can tell lean more so feminine but guys could wear them if they want to as well and try to pull them off as well and this i don't think this will have any issue i don't think any of guy have any issue trying to pull one of these off like i said very good very sweet very well-rounded juicy very tangy with that pineapple and that coconut that's in there really nice fragrance on our next fragrance cosmic hiatus same presentation got the nice gold bottle red stones red stone at the top just had a misprint on the label. You open this up. Like I said, you were met with like a very herbaceous, floral, kind of like a slight medicinal vi uh, sort of vibe to it. Almost like there's a like a mint or a peppermint or a clary sage. I do get like a woodiness, like a peppery kind of woodiness as well. It's really nice. Like I said, it's just a little medicinal to my nose and that's not something that I typically would reach for. We're going to go ahead and try this on skin. Try this on this arm here. And the notes for this fragrance is frosted lemon cake, kanaga flower, geranium, wild rose, vanilla, and Australian sandalwood. It is a little different from what I was expecting when I saw the note layout for this. 
I don't get much of like the woody vibe that I was expecting. I don't get much of the like the rose vibe. I don't get much floral. I get it's more so herbaceous, like a, like herbs more so than floral, and it's less woody and gourmand that I thought I was gonna get from that uh, lemon cake. It's like I said, very herbaceous and sort of medicinal. Not not, not something that I would reach for myself uh, when looking for a luxury fragrance. It's not bad smelling at all though. Very fresh, uh, sort of bright. Uh, uplifting and energetic kind of a scent to it i just know that with clary sage i'm not usually a big fan of it in fragrances if you know done a certain way i do get like a lemon sort of vibe though that pairs along with that and it is really nice like i said a lovely presentation on these here these things are so cool a very nice feel and presentation very nice look and overall uh aesthetics with the fragrances they smell great, especially the mid, the midsummer delight. Very, like I said, very sticky, tart, full, rounded, fruity, sort of warm, tropical kind of vibe. And it's perfect time for that. Beautiful fragrances. And that is Empress Essence by Jess. That is it for this video, you guys. I'm gonna drop her link in the description where you can check out her shop for yourself. Take a browse around and see what you may wanna get. I know she have some bigger vials than these that are a bit more elaborate, a little more intricate in their design. I know she has a few other fragrances to choose from as well. Definitely check her out and hit her up in the description. I'll drop her social media link as well. And that is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. I was up and down the highway trying to do it my way. To put a circle in the square, I tried to move it sideways. I do not want to do it my way, trying to do it your way. I do not want to do it my way, trying to do it your way. Oh. Since your first album drop, you done got some fame up. So she in my line, she say, boy, you done changed up. It ain't that I changed, it's that I done stepped my game up. What's the point of living right if we...